Today I'm going to take you through just some basic overview uh, for those that are new to a 4600, 4240, or a 4640 display. Um, so the first thing you're going to notice, uh, besides a different layout, we've got shortcut buttons across the bottom here. So these buttons take us into tasks that previously on other models that we would have to go in through the menu. Um, so they take us into quicker into certain areas. Uh, these are all customizable on the bottom um, in the layout manager. So the other part here is um, we have multiple home pages that we're able to scroll through on these displays. Um, you can use the arrow pads here to scroll between those displays or if you'd like to see an overview if you click right above the uh, top green bar here it is going to give you an overview of all of the pages that you have in here. Um, next thing you're going to see is our time, our uh, data sync signal, and our GPS signal in here. Um, this is also going to be a shortcut bar for seeing our GPS receiver and as far as uh, other information that the display is receiving. To uh, dive into the menu side here, that is going to be something some of you are familiar with from previous models. Um, and here it's a little different. We've got machine settings, we've got applications, and we've got system. So to start with machine settings, um, if you're using a 4240 or a 4640, it's going to look pretty similar to this since we're not tied into the machine CAN bus. Um, so you're going to have a pretty limited selection of buttons there. If you're uh, tied in to the CAN bus of a tractor, or a combine, or a sprayer, you're going to have your hydraulics, your auto, your, uh, your hydraulics will be in there. The next one in there is going to be applications. So in applications, we've got auto track guidance, we've got calculator, controls, we've got all of these tabs in here. Um, and you can scroll through using the bar on the right until you find the one that you're looking for. Um, the last one on here is going to be our system. So that is going to be anything in here as far as system diagnostics related, um, activations, access for users. So in here we can get to things like inputting an activation code in that one. Um, diagnostic center is going to be our one where we can go and check trouble codes on the machine. We can clear our trouble codes right from there. So that is the basic overview of the menus and different slides for a Gen 4 monitor.